Good morning from the Philippines. Lazy morning. Slept in. My hair is messy, so you don't get a picture of me. My normal walking down to the beach, checking out the surf. And, <clears throat> well, I guess the reason for it is, yes, we have a typhoon. And it's a fairly big one. Um, it's, what's the name? Quinta. Typhoon Quinta. Right now, it's barreling through, oh, you know, northern Visayas. So I guess impacting mainly Legaspi area. And, uh, well, Romblone. I don't know, those areas over there. And not so much Luzon, but it's being felt um, through the central part of the Visayas, northern central part, I guess. And it's at a, what they say here, level three for the impact zone. And it says waves up to 14 kilometer, 14 meters high. I don't know. I'd have to see that. But possible, I guess. So I'm going to walk down here to the beach and see if any of the swell is starting to come up here. It's unbelievably quiet here for, you know, having a typhoon. I mean, look at this. You can see the big clouds in the air. And, uh, oh, let me give you your gardening up to date. <laughs> Gardening update. Anne would just love to see this. I'm not sure if she watches my vlog, but oh, look at that. Some big uh, improvements in growth. The camote leaves are going really well. I'm going to ask her if we can have some because I just, I had camote leaves with some uh, eggplant and uh, longanisa with rice for breakfast this morning. Delicious. Really good for you. It's funny, they don't really use... Well, camote is, you know, it's like a yam for those in the States trying to figure out what camote is. It's like a sweet potato. Sweet potato or yam. They have three types of them here. And the leaves on top of the plant are widely used here for like adobo. Not adobo, I'm sorry. Synagogue. They throw it in synagogue and other soup-based dishes, but mainly synagogue. And it's delicious. And what we've been doing is just kind of steaming it and then just eating it plain. I mean, it doesn't need butter or anything. They're really tasty. If you ever get a chance and you're in the States, and I'd be curious, leave comments down below. Are there any camote leaves in the supermarket? I mean, I don't see them at the major chains in the supermarket, like, you know, Ralph's or Kroger or whatever. But maybe <clears throat> I would think like Asian markets have it. And uh, I don't know, maybe not. I, I know they have other type of Asian leaves and stuff like, you know, basil. Thai basil and stuff like that. But here it's widely eaten and it's really good. Like, I'll miss it. You know, like when I go back to the States for a while, I just really enjoy it. I really love it in synagogue. It's delicious. And just steamed. Like, it's kind of like, has the texture of like a broccoli. At least, the maybe not. I don't know, it reminds me of broccoli when I eat it. That kind of flavor, that herby type flavor. And I love broccoli. So, coming down here, and uh, got people out here. Got some swimmers, some kids. It's kind of jumbly out there. Uh, got some people out here swimming surfing 
I'm hoping that I have some better waves today, but the swell right now, as you can see, it's kind of coming in this way. So that's from the north still. And I say it's gonna increase. I'm kind of surprised how the uh, how the how the north swell is still coming in. Got some big drops falling right now, and if you look at the beach, you can see how far the tide came up. But uh, oh, it, it looks like. Uh, Looks like Ian's down here. You got a surfer dude giving a uh, giving lessons. Huh. I think they're maybe vloggers? I don't know. Swimsuit edition San Juan. But uh got some guys out here swimming. I'm gonna go walk down the beach <clears throat> and check out the uh, outer outer reef break. <laughs> Kids have their dogs. You know what? I'm just happy I don't have to work. I'm really happy about that. I don't feel like working lately. And I haven't been working. I've been working on, well, <laughs> Vlogging, really. That's my job, I guess. If you could say it's a job. My job is just enjoying the beach and uh, having a good time surfing. I like being retired, as I've said before. This guy down here is doing a photo shoot. I think he likes his job. <laughs> They're like the only people on the beach right now. But besides the typhoon, nothing really else going on. I mean, of course, the US elections, it's getting close. I think there's like eight days left now. Right? Surprisingly, the waves are not that big right now. I think what I might do is just go down to Surfmade and see how it's going. I got like three waves yesterday at Surfmade, the main point there. And it just doesn't look really big enough to push through to Kareel right now. This outside reef here, look at it going off out there. Maybe at low tide today, it might be breaking out there. Do you know the north swell is supposed to be pushing through today? Uh, getting bigger throughout the day. And there's really no wind, which is nice. It's notably cooler today. Like I would say it's 73 degrees out right now. Maybe 72. It's probably the coolest I've felt it in, oh, I don't know, eight months. 
This is the coolest day. And as you can see, it's cloudy. These are the outer bands. These clouds of the typhoon. They're kind of wrapping out and getting us. Up here in La Union, we're not even in level one. Uh, level one starts in Pampanga, and then southern Pampanga, closer to NCR, is level two. And the whole national capital region, Manila, is all in level two for the typhoon, which is pretty windy. But we're just on the outskirts of it, so we're not getting any wind. You can see right here, it's like a, what would you call it? I don't know. Offshore? Yep. It is offshore. And it, it's really calm. And just some big drops falling. So, it's actually nice. I like it. I prefer the cloudy weather than the sunny weather. Because when it's sunny, it's hot. And I gotta wear my hat, and I don't like wearing hats. I had to wear a hat for five years in the Navy. And uh, I swore when I got out of the Navy I wouldn't wear a hat. And now I do, just because I don't like to get a sunburn right where your hair parts, you know? Yeah, it's, I got a little sunburn yesterday just for being out for two hours surfing. And it was, I had sunscreen on, like waterproof sunscreen. I lathered it up on my arms and my face. And after two hours, it washes off. So, you got to kind of really protect yourself here. I'm going to have to look at the tides. I believe low tide is in the middle of the day. I'll have to look it up. But if it, low tide's in the middle of the day, that outer reef, today might be the day to try it. Out there, way out there at the point, that's Tabo. I had a surfer friend come back from there... And he said it was nothing extraordinary. But then again, every time he tells me, Corral's small, because he knows they'll come down there and surf. <laughs> you know who you are. Anyway, I like usually catch three or four waves. I'm not, I'm not the guy that takes a lot of waves, you know. I'm older now, and after, you know, 20 minute paddles out, after three waves, I'm done. That's an hour of paddling. I need to get more in shape. Here is the uh, hotel that's going up here. It's a brand new one. It's behind, construction-wise, the Awesome Hotel, which is just about done, at least cosmetically on the outside. I'm sure they got a lot more to do on the inside. But it is, I would say, one, two, three, four, five. It's five stories, maybe six stories in the middle, in the back there. And I can't remember the name of it, but if you message me, I'll. You can probably see it on Google Earth. I mean, it's been going up for years. If you've been following my vlog, you know San Juan very well. I'm going to walk back, and uh, that's it. Walk back and upload this just as your surf report for... This is Ely Norte, northern San Juan. This is your surf report for Ely Norte. to thank everybody for watching I uh, I couldn't do this without all of you I really appreciate the comments there are now like I would say five people who really like to comment and I enjoy responding I really I, I wake up in the morning and I I try to find my, the comments I just really enjoy that 
So thank you for commenting. Any questions, comments, always welcome, even if it's just, hey man, nice video. I like it. It helps the YouTube algorithm too. I'm not gonna be an e-beggar and say please like, subscribe and all that. I figure if you like my vlog, you're gonna do that. I'm having fun watching these videos shoot. I wonder if they are like professional models, if it's a vlog, I'm not really sure. But maybe I'll come up and ask this guy. I think I will. I'll ask him what's going on. Maybe they're vloggers too. Well, thanks again for watching. Just a short video, a quick walk and talk. The last vlog I did a lot of video editing and it takes a lot of time. Sometimes I just like to point and shoot, show what's going on, and uh, that's it. Besides the typhoon, nothing else going on. I'm not gonna show my face this video. I'm curious on a comment of that. And uh, if there's anything you guys wanna see, as soon as the waves get a little smaller, I'm gonna start doing some non-surfing stuff. Let me know. I know someone wants me to go see some river mouth or something, and if you want me to see something, maybe even send me an email, like give me some Google coordinates or something, because I, uh, I'm not sure where it is. <laughs> some of these things people want me to go check out. A lot of the things I vlog, I just happen to run into and uh, and I vlog them but afterwards I think I am gonna come up here and talk to this guy here see what's going on if, if it's a vlog or a special photo shoot so thanks again for watching and more vlogs to come uh, stay safe and uh, I'll see you in the comments section.